dear students mod z is root of x square plus y square argument of z is tan inverse of y by x root of x square plus y square is always a real number x is real y is real even though y is called as imaginary point y is real x is real root of x square plus y square is a real number argument of z or amplitude of z is tan inverse of y by x that is also a real number now what is argument of a real number argument of a real number is always equal to zero reason is let us say z is equal to x plus i zero because we have considered z as a real number z is x plus i zero then argument of z is given by tan inverse of y by x therefore tan inverse of zero that is equal to zero and it can be pi when you are getting a negative real number but however it's very very important argument of modulus of z is always equal to zero what about modulus of argument of z what is modulus of 3 modulus of 3 is 3 what is modulus of minus 4 that is plus 4 so that means to say modulus of argument of z is always a positive quantity whereas argument of modulus of z is zero this you must know dear students before discussing this problem look at the question z is equal to x plus i by amplitude of modulus of z is z1 amplitude of modulus of amplitude of z is z2 then the relation between z1 and z2 is z2 is greater than z1 z2 is less than z1 z2 is equal to z1 and z2 e and no comparison usually dear students two complex numbers we cannot compare that you must be aware two complex numbers cannot be compared whereas two real numbers can always be compared you can observe one thing dear students both z1 and z2 are real numbers why they are real because z1 is equal to z1 is equal to amplitude of z amplitude of modulus of z modulus of z is amplitude of a real number that is equal to zero z1 is zero what about z2 that is modulus of amplitude of z amplitude of z is tan inverse of y by x tan inverse of y by x is a constant modulus of a constant is same thing that is always a number greater than zero provided y or x are not zero simultaneously right anyway z2 is always greater than or equal to z1 or z2 can be greater than z1 because this is a positive quantity and this is always zero so therefore option a is straight away correct and the next problem is for any complex number z minimum value of mod of z plus 1 mod of z plus mod of z minus 1 is option a 1 option b 1 by 2 option c 0 and option d is 3 by 2 look at this dear students we have mod of z plus mod of z minus 1 minimum value see there are many methods let me teach you a shortcut you just make whatever is inside modulus as 0 make z as 0 if you make z as 0 this will be modulus of 0 minus 1 right this is 0 this is 0 minus 1 because when we make this as 0 this will become 0 minus 1 under modulus right so this is mod 0 plus mod of 0 minus 1 that is equal to 1 do you agree with me that is case number 1 now consider second case consider 
mod z plus mod of z minus 1. Now, you make this as 0, mod of z minus 1 as 0, that means to say z will be equal to 1. So, this is mod 0 plus mod 1 because z is equal to 1. What is 0 plus 1? 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. That means to say minimum value is 1. This is the shortest way of approaching this problem. students, you must be aware of one basic thing in mathematics, particularly complex number. Argument of z1 into z2 is given by argument of z1 plus argument of z2. Argument of z1 into z2 into z3 is given by argument of z1 plus argument of z2 plus argument of z3 and so on. Based on this concept, we have a question. Look at the question now. If a1 plus ib1 into a2 plus ib2, a3 plus ib3 up to an plus ibn is equal to a plus ib, then sigma i is equal to 1 to n, sigma i is equal to 1 to n, tan inverse of b i by a i is option a, b by a, option b, tan inverse of b by a, option c, tan b by a and option d, tan inverse of a by b. Look at this dear students, we have the question sigma tan inverse of tan inverse of b1 bi plus ai that means to say that is equal to tan inverse of b1 by a1 do you agree with me b1 by a1 plus tan inverse of tan inverse of b2 by a2 plus tan inverse of b3 by a3 and so on. Do you agree with me? This is what the question is. Come back to the question again. We have a1 plus ib1 into a2 plus ib2 and so on is equal to a plus ib, correct? a plus ib. Do you agree with me? Now, apply argument both the sides. If you put argument, what, hap what happens is, argument of a plus ib, this implies argument of a plus ib or amplitude of a plus ib is equal to amplitude of the left hand side. What is amplitude of this? This is amplitude of a1 plus ib1, amplitude of a1 plus ib1 plus amplitude of a2 plus ib2 and plus so on. Do you agree with me? What is amplitude of a plus ib? Amplitude of a plus ib is given by tan inverse of b by a. Tan inverse of b by a is equal to tan inverse of b by a is equal to what is amplitude of a1 plus ib1? That is tan inverse of b1 by a1, is it correct? Plus, what is amplitude of a2 plus ib2? That is tan inverse of b2 by a2, tan inverse of b2 by a2. So, what about next one? Tan inverse of b3 by a3 and so on. Do you agree with me? Actually, what is this? This is same as this. Therefore, what should be this equal to? This must be equal to tan inverse of b by a. Therefore, option B is correct. Got it dear students? See it is a very very simple problem. I hope you have followed this.